In this video, we're going to look at one method we can use to solve a system of equations. The method we are going to use is solving the system by graphing. We have two equations here, y equals negative one-half x plus three, and y equals three-fourths x minus two. We want to find the pair of numbers, the x and y combination, that works in both of these equations. The idea behind graphing is that if we graph the line described by each equation, the line describes all the possibilities that work for each equation. Therefore, the line should intersect at the one point that both equations are true. So let's see if we can graph both of these equations on the number line, drawing a picture of the solutions, and seeing if that can help us find the location of the pair of numbers that makes both true. You may recall, we have slope-intercept form, that's y equals mx plus b. The important numbers we want to pull off here are that b, the y-intercept, is three. Let me move this other equation out of the way. b, the y-intercept, is three. That's where the graph is going to cross the y-axis, at three. We also have m, the slope, is equal to negative one-half. Recall slope is rise over run, so we're going to rise negative one and run two to get to the next point. And we could keep rising negative one, run two, rise negative one, run two, rise negative one, run two, all the way off the graph. We could even go the other direction, keeping that same rise run pattern. And that gives us our line for the first equation. Every point on that line works in the first equation, but we want the point that works also on the second line. The second line is also in the y equals mx plus b form. And we can see the b on this line, the starting point, the y-intercept, is negative two. This is where the graph crosses the y-axis at negative two. The slope is three-fourths. That means from that first green dot, we're going to rise three and run four. Rise three, run four, rise three, run four, and we could even go backwards three and backwards four, backwards three and backwards four, to get several other dots along the way. So we should be able to connect these dots. There we go. And that line represents all the solutions to the second equation. What we're looking for is what works on both equations, or both lines. You'll notice there's this one point where both lines intersect each other. The coordinates of that point are right four, up one. This tells us that that point four one works both on the green line and the blue line, or works in both equations. Four comma one is going to be our solution for this system of equations. When x is four and y is one, both of these equations become true equations.